What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Got another movie reaction for you. And of course, we're continuing the Bond series. Duh. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, two very different movies. Yes. But still awesome, fun, action flicks, amazing character. I mean, they're so Bond fun. movies. Exactly. So. so very much looking forward to see what they're going to do with the third movie, Skyfall. It's like the 60th movie, but Ten Daniel Craig's for this third one. movie. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So yeah, very much looking forward to Skyfall. If you guys didn't know, we do movie nights every single week on the channel right here. Look for those alerts. They pop up. Come join us. Jump in the chat. Come say hello. Tell we love jokes. to see you. Yeah. Nikki tells lots of jokes. I do. I generally don't laugh. You guys are the funny ones. You know ones. that. And you got to catch your spiel. The spiel. So, yeah. Also, we post all of our full-length movie reactions on the Patreon if you're into that whole thing. The links to that are down below. But here we go. Continuing Bond, Skyfall. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Damn it, the fucking scared the shit out of me right now! <laughs> you got me. Wow. That scared me. It's a cool shot. If I can make that shot into a thumbnail, I'm going to, because that was cool looking. Okay, just remember the beginning of the movie, right after Nikki got scared. <laughs> Okay. With the music, I imagine someone in the background holding a shaker. Oh my god. Bronson's down. He needs a medical evac. Where is it? Is it there? Hard drive's gone. They must have it. Get after them. Oh, this dude's still alive. I'm stabilizing Bronson. We don't have the time. I have to stop the bleeding. Leave him. Dang. That sucks. Em is hardcore. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's been since the moment we met her, so that's no sh surprise. He's in the black Audi. Medical evac for Ronson, five minutes away. Oh. Is it right? You weren't <laughs> using it. <laughs> I wasn't using that one either. I love Bond's, like, super dry humor. It's quite funny. I like it. There's so many people. Or just attempt a pit maneuver with just a bunch of people on the street. No big deal. And food. I mean, we already know Stop. Bond has no guard for people's personal effects. Whoa. What is that? What gun is that? Is that Henry Rollins, by the way? Holy shit. No. It's one of those massive rounded mags. No, I get it. Clips, mag, I always get that wrong. Keep going. Dude, I would totally run people over. Like. Not on purpose. No. That's impressive. It's impressive. I'm impressed. Are you? I'm not mad. I'm impressed. That's wild. That's two movies in a row that he's destroyed people's roofs. Like so many people dead. <laughs> I love how these movies begin. So do I. It's just kicking your ass right away, high tempo, pedal to the metal, usually a crazy chase. Oh. A lot of stuff's getting fucking wrecked. She said, fuck your car. Fuck y'all everything. <laughs> your roofs, your windows, your vehicles, your food stands, your construction sites, your all of it. Construction materials. <laughs> Oh, she's just, oh my, she's firing. She just went for it. Oh! Holy shit. Okay. Oh. Hopefully that's not a train to Busan. I'm just saying. Also, I want her car. Your car's fantastic. Damn it. I just love how reckless he is. 
I mean, like we tell the kids in softball, sacrifice your body. <laughs> he does. Oh, what is he gonna do? Oh God. How, how, how in the hell? Oh my God. Adver Even that dude's like, yeah. what is happening? Yeah. Advertisement for cat construction vehicle. Ooh. Oh. No way. I remember I wanted one of those so bad. <laughs> oh, that's smart. Ain't that some shit. No way. <laughs> this is amazing. It, I mean, this is a movie. That is for sure. I love how outrageous and over the top all this stuff is. The action sequences are so good. He's gonna use it as a bridge. And the music. Dun, 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 dun. Oh shit. Dude, he's a parkour expert. This is easy Honestly. work for him. Honestly. <gasps> Look at this. Perfect. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Watch that head. Watch that head. And he pulled that all off while being shot. Mm. No big deal. Oh. oh. I want that car. Whatever what is car that, that, is, that is, I want it. That thing is dope. Um, watch your back and don't kill him. Oh, God. Oh, oh. oh. oh mother. Good Lord. Does dude lose a head? Oh. Don't get ahead of yourself. Who's ahead of his class? Don't go losing your head now. Oh shit. Oh, oh God. Ugh. Dang it. Have a shot. Bond needs to duck. Not clean. Music's good. I like the music. Ooh. You're gonna have to shoot through Take him? Shot. I can't. I'm in bonds. Take the bloody shot. Oh! <gasps> oh shit! Oh no! Down. Oh shit. Oh no. I mean that shot I feel like would have been one in a million to actually hit the target. London, MI6. You think she did the you googly? <clears throat> yes, she is the you googleizer. Zoolander. I've been summoned to the headmaster's study. It's a new chairman, just standard procedure. Bloody waste of my time is what I call it. I'm sorry to have to deal with such a delicate subject. Ah! Okay, this is gonna be a good movie. The irony of him being headmaster. Yeah, you be Frank, I'll be Nikki. Prime Minister's concerned. Well, you can tell him my operatives are pursuing every avenue. Have you considered pulling out the agents? I've considered every option. Lord Voldemort. Three months ago, you lost the computer drive containing the identity of almost every NATO agent embedded in terrorist organizations across the globe, a list which, in the eyes of our allies, never existed. You know why you're here. Are we to call this civilian oversight? No, we're to call this retirement planning. <laughs> okay. You're firing me. No, ma'am. I'm here to oversee the transition period leading to your voluntary retirement in two months' time. I know I can't do this job forever, but I'll be damned if I'm going to leave the department in worse shape than I found it. You should leave with dignity. Oh, to hell with dignity. I'll leave when the job's done. Good for you. You're not going to force me out. Bastards. Alert from the Q branch. Someone's trying to decrypt the stolen hard drive. 
centering in the UK. London. I love the tech. I love it. I think it's so fun. It's coming from Just MI6. the amount of information that they could... What? This is behind our firewall. It appears to be your computer, Mom. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. What is this? Whoa. Uh oh. Think on your sins. Just get out of the way. Don't you recognize the car? <gasps> oh my god. Holy shit. How many people were up there? That's awful. Wait, is that him? Oh, look at him. Living his best life. People thinking he's dead. He's looking kind of rough. He's kind of been through it. Now appears to be a major terrorist attack in the heart of London. No one has yet claimed responsibility for what sources are calling a possible cyber terrorist assault. Early reports from the scene indicate at least six dead with victims being evacuated to local hospitals within minutes of the explosion. Is that gonna bring him back to life? I'm gonna th assume so. Wow. <laughs> He's very good Where the hell that. have you been? Enjoying death. 007 reporting for duty. <laughs> What was it you said? Take the bloody shot. I made a judgment call. You should have trusted me to finish the job. It was the possibility of losing you or the certainty of losing all those other agents. I made the only decision I could and you know. What do you expect? A bloody apology? You know the rules of the game. You've been playing it long enough. We both have. Maybe too long. Ouch. So this is it. We're both played out. If you believe that, why did you come back? Good question. Because we're under attack, and you know we need you. Well, I'm here. You'll have to be debriefed and declared fit for active service. You can only return to duty when you've passed the tests, so take them seriously. The shower might be in order. <laughs> Their relationship through these three movies have been so interesting. There's constantly like this push and pull situation with like trust constantly. Or jokes or jabs. Because I feel like by the end of two, she gained his trust. Yeah. But now he's lost her trust because she she said take the shot. So very uh, complicated relationship they have. It's business, not personal, but it's quite personal. Tomorrow you'll see him and Mallory too, if you're lucky. Who's Mallory? The new chairman of the Intelligence and Security Committee. Charming man, I think you and he are really going to hit it off. <laughs> oh, Welcome yeah. to the new MI6. Yeah, he still looks real rough. Like, he just, like, let's say he just doesn't feel good. Yeah, I'm sure he'll get him in tip-top shape in no time. We've attempted to trace the computer message, but it was sent by an asymmetrical security algorithm. And now that they've accessed M's codes, it's only a matter of time before they're able to decrypt the list. Q Branch have been analyzing the picture, but well, so far no. nothing. Crunches. General feeling is it's probably someone from her past. Setups. Truth is, we don't have a clue who took the list. Or what they plan to do with it. Instead of getting a debriefing, can I get some Eye of the Tiger or something during this training montage? Yeah. Oh. The image is a hostage. The person he's shooting is holding them from behind. Right. So it hit the person perfectly. Exactly. Good job, Bond. You passed. I'd like to start with some simple word associations. Oh Just boy. tell me the first word that pops into your head. I love these. Day, and you might say, wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Even he thought that was funny. That sounds like something I would say. Gun. Shot. Agent. Provocateur. Woman. Provocatrix. Heart, target, bird, sky, M, bitch. 
Crow! <laughs> Murder employment. Skyfall. Oh. Skyfall. Done. Well, this is going well. I love that the first one was day and he said wasted. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. Oh, is it still in uh -uh. there? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Is that necessary? No. Get these analyzed for her eyes only. Wow. She's ready for you. It's like, oh, hi. I'm sorry, we met before. <laughs> I'm the one who should say sorry. There's only four ribs, some of the less vital organs. Nothing major. Well, at least he doesn't have any hard feelings about Not it. Not enough excitement in East Jumbo. I've been reassigned. Temporary suspension from field work. Something to do with killing 007. Do me a favor, will you? If they do ever let you back out there, warn me first. <laughs> In your defense, a moving target is much harder to hit. Then you better keep moving. Ah, she ah, could snap back. She mm -hmm. could snap back. Mm -hmm. I love the bulldog. The whole office goes up in smoke and that bloody thing survives. Your interior decorating tips have always been appreciated. Oh my god. I've just been reviewing Bond's tests. Seems you've passed by the skin of your teeth. You're back on active service. Why not stay dead? Not many field agents get to leave this cleanly. Do you get out in the field much? You don't need to be an operative to see the obvious. I feel like that was a burn right there. It's a young man's game. Hire me or fire me. It's entirely up to you. Good luck, 007. Don't cock it up. I'm using that. I'm using that. <laughs> Next time <laughs> we're getting ready to do something, don't cock it up. Got it? Thanks so much. It's a depleted uranium shell, military grade. Recognize anyone? Him. He's a ghost. No known residence or country of origin. He's going to be in Shanghai in two days' time, probably on a job. Find out who he works for and who has the list, then terminate him for Ronson. 007, you are ready for this? Yes, ma'am. Hello, seven. I'm your new quartermaster. You must be joking. Why? Because I'm not wearing a lab coat? Because you still have spots. My complexion is hardly relevant. Well, your competence is. Age is no guarantee of efficiency. And youth is no guarantee of innovation. Word. <laughs> I can do more damage on my laptop sitting in my pajamas before my first cup of Earl Grey than you can do in a year in the field. Ouch! Every now and then a trigger has to be pulled. Or not pulled. It's hard to know which in your pajamas. <laughs> I love it. I'm a broken record at this point, but I love his interactions with Off people. Off the PPKS 9 millimeter mm. short, there's a microdermal sensor in the grip. It's been coded to your palm print so only you can fire it. <gasps> That's dope. And this? Standard issue radio transmitter. Activate it and it broadcasts your location. Distress signal. Wow. A gun and a radio. Not exactly Christmas, is it? I don't know. That's pretty dumb. Are you expecting an exploding pen? <laughs> Actually, I'd love <laughs> to see it. I go in for that anymore. I like this guy. I do too. <laughs> Q. Anybody who could like return the snarky attitude to him is... See, I thought he was going to say something. It works really well. Yeah. I, I thought he was going to say something about like when he's like, see you in your fields, you like go sit in your pajamas or yeah. something. That's cool. But see, even he's impressed. Oh, shit. Does it like self-destruct if someone else tries to use it? Or I does think it that's just the not wrong work? movie. <laughs> Stabs you in the hand. Right? He probably knows he's back there, right?
<laughs> no way. That's impressive. That's too high up. That is like, too high up. You better hold. You better hope you can hold this for <laughs> a long time. Did your arms start hurting? It, oh, he's yeah. burning. It's burning. Oh, mother. Oh, <gasps> shit. Oh. He's like, this was a bad idea. Yeah, I should have rethought that. Uh-uh. Oh, God. <laughs> He's so high up, too. <laughs> the heights, the heights, the heights. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, it's, uh, it's like hot in here all of a sudden. <laughs> This feels very John Wick. It's like just enough of a reflection to not be able to see. Holy shit. It's a big gun. He's about to snipe somebody. Created a hole just so he could. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I've only seen those type of silencers in Tarkov. I've never seen them in any other movie or any other piece of content. Holy shit. And they're really high up. What a scene. Oh With the wind, the sound of the wind, hell no. This is so, the silhouettes fighting, this is so awesome. Oh shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh. Who's got the list? Oh god, uh, ah, shit. <laughs> Who are you working for? <gasps> oh! <sighs> Is he gonna pull a what's up, girl? I mean, that slow mo up, shot. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Who's number two worked for? That's totally what I was totally thinking Austin Powers in that moment. Yes. <laughs> oh, my dude's dangling there for his life. You think he's just gonna be like, so and so? This is who I work for. It's not like he's gonna pull him up. Exactly. That was a really cool scene. That was. But I don't like the heights, yeah. though. What the hell? He's posted the first five names. Their cover's blown. They're in danger. Get them out now. Posted to YouTube. Holy dude, this is wild. Literally about to shave. Literally. Of course he's in a towel. Of course. Is it going to be yeah. the lady that he saw <laughs> from across? Room service. You need pillow? <laughs> Need me jerk you off? What? <laughs> what kind of hotel is this? <laughs> oh, Chris Farley. Whoever stole the list has already decrypted it. They posted the first five names on the web. They're posting five more next week and the week after. It's some kind of sadistic game. You ever shaved like that? The whole. I was just gonna ask for those who do shave with the brush, how much better. I hear it's amazing. Yeah. Not very traditional. Well, I like to do some things the old fashioned way. Sometimes the old ways are the best. Is everybody calling him old in this? I mean, it feels I that. feel personally attacked. <laughs> but at the same time, she's like hitting on him. Okay, look at this position. God damn. 
Raising the tantalizing question of what you're really doing here. My official directive was to help in any way I can. I mean, it's 007, obviously. Keep still. This is the tricky part. I will cut your throat. Oh, that's better. You look the part now. Mm-hmm. And what part's that? Old dog. <laughs> <laughs> New trick. There's definitely a big focus on his age. Damn. I mean. That's really cool. That is so pretty with the lanterns on the water. I love that. Oh. I don't want to identify this creature for fear of Kimono being Kimono dragon. You don't know that? You don't know that? Could be a mongoose for all I know. <laughs> I'd like to cash this in, please. One moment, sir. Dun, dun, dun. That's a look. Dang. Who told you tonight, sir? She was the one across the way, right? Yeah, I, that's what I think, yeah. but I mean, her hair's shorter, so I could be wrong. Oh, snap. Thanks, I'll be going home now. <laughs> oh, look, I died again. Darn it. <laughs> oh, her hair's just tied up. I couldn't see it from over there. I've been waiting to see who would redeem the chip. You made such a bold entrance into a little drama. Do I overcomplicate the plot? Who doesn't that appreciate the occasional twist, Mr. Bond, James Bond. He does that. Severine. Ooh. So, Mr. Bond, shall we discuss your next performance over that drink? It's pretty like that. Severine. May your friends be joining us? That, I'm afraid, is inevitable. Oh. Inevitable. I can't snap for shit. Would you mind if I ask you a business question? It has to do with death. A subject in which you're well versed. Only a certain kind of woman wears a backless dress with a Beretta 70s strap to her thigh. I am correct in assuming you killed Patrice. Yes. <laughs> Might I ask why? I want to meet your employer. The way she blew the smoke out. You're scared. You put on a good show, but ever since we sat down, you haven't stopped looking at your bodyguards. They're controlling you. They're not protecting you. Tattoo on your wrist is Macau sex trade. You belong oh. to one of the houses. What were you, 12? Sex trafficking. Oh my God. I'm guessing he was your way out. Perhaps you thought you were in love. That was a long time ago. You know nothing about it. I know what a woman is afraid and pretending not to be. I can help you. I don't think so. Bring me to him. <laughs> Holy shit. Can you kill him? Yes. If you survive, I'm on the Chimera, North Harbor. We cast off in an hour. I mean, you could even tell when she was drinking her drink because her hand was a little shaky. Like she had a little tremble. Hello. Oh, oh shh. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Oh. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, we got a pro he, wrestler there. I, I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, you just got the tombstone. Oh, what happens when you. Oh, now we're gonna find out. This dude's about to get fucking wrecked. Good luck with that. It just doesn't fire. <gasps> like, can I get my gun back though, please? Oh, there's multiple. Oh, 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 they're fast. Oh, shit. Damn it though, his gun. That felt very uh, Return of the Jedi. The Rancor. That dude just got eight. His gun, though. Ugh. That's got to be an awful way to die. Right. 
Damn. <laughs> he just joins her. How did he? <laughs> but ass naked. I made it. I like you better without your burrata. I feel naked without it. Damn. How did he get on the boat? He's Bond. James, James Bond. Bond. Yes. Mm -hmm. This looks interesting. It's not too late. We could turn back now. Oh shit. The way she was standing at the front of the boat made me, I was like, what is, why they is she- They were gonna have a Titanic moment? I just, it felt questionable. Wow, look at this. Yeah, it's like a lost city. Holy shit. An abandoned city. They abandoned it almost overnight. He made them think there was a leak at the chemical plant. It's amazing the panic you can cause with a single computer. Wow. Whoa. Interesting. The hell of a network has got set up there. Are so blue. Hello, James. Welcome. Do you like the island? My grandmother had an island. Nothing to boast of. We could walk around it in an hour. Still, it was it was a paradise for us. One summer, we went for a visit and discovered the place had been infested with rats. How do you get rats off an island? We buried an oil drum and hinged the lid. Then we wired coconut to the lid as bait, and the rats would come for the coconut, and boing, 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 they would fall into the drum. Sounds awful. You've dropped all the rats. But what did you do then? Throw the drum into the ocean? Burn it? What an interesting shot. Yeah. And they began to get hungry. And one by one, they start Ew. eating each other. Can you not make that sound with your mouth again? Oh, hey. And then what? Do you kill them? No. You take them and release them into the trees. But now they don't eat coconut anymore. Now they only eat rat. Yes, Javier. I was trying to think of his name. He is terrifying. I made my own choices. You think you did? That's her genius. Station H, am I right? Hong Kong? Mm -hmm. 86 to 97. Back then, I was her favorite. And you're not nearly the agent I was. I can tell you that. You're still clinging to your faith in that old woman when all she does is lie to you. She never lied to me. No. What did you score on your marksmanship evaluation? 70. <laughs> 40. Did she tell you the psychologist cleared you for duty? Yes. No. <laughs> Medical evaluation, fail. Physical evaluation, fail. Psychological evaluation, alcohol and substance addiction indicated. Oof. Pathological rejection of authority based on unresolved childhood trauma. Jesus. Subject is not approved for field duty and immediate suspension from service advised. Wow. She sent you off to me knowing you're not ready, knowing you would likely die. Mommy was very bad. As long as his seat has a bottom to it, we're good. <laughs> oh my God. See what she's done to you. Well, she never tied me to a chair. Her loss. Are you sure this is about him? It's about her. And you and me. You see, we are the last two rats. Look at his jawline. That is legit. Oh, you're trying to remember your training now? What's the regulation to cover this? Well, first time for everything. What makes you think this is my first time? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bond, dude. You could pick your own secret missions, as I do. Name it. Destabilize a multinational by manipulating stocks. But easy. I really like him. Rig an election in Uganda, all to the highest bidder. Or a gas explosion in London. Mm -hmm. Just point and click. Well, everybody needs a hobby. That's horrifying. Yes, Holy also that. shit. Also that. 
Uh, oh shit. Is another person that Bond hooked up with gonna die right now? Like, holy shit. Stand up straight, keep still. Whatever you do, don't lose your head. Don't lose your head. Uh uh. Don't lose your head. Time to redeem your marksmanship scores. Oh shit. You can be the first. Do not be I mean, lost. beautiful guns, but also. Holy shit. Let's see who ends up on top. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Oh my god, this poor girl. Holy shit. He looked away. <gasps> I win. What do you say to that? Did he just kill her? It's a waste of good scotch. Oh, oh, oh. You wanted some old 007? There you go, Take bud. Back to her, all on your own. This is a mama yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Ladies think from Q branch. Hold a radio. <laughs> Mr. Techie just got punked by a radio. She's dead. She's, yeah, she's yeah. Dead. It's really becoming a really horrible trend yeah. of Bond sleeping with someone and then them dying. This feels very Magneto. Hannibal Lecter. Also that. <laughs> Hello, Grace. Are you surprised? Not particularly, but then you always were a slippery one. Maybe that's why you liked me so much. You flatter yourself. No remorse, just as I had imagined. Regret is unprofessional. Regret is unprofessional. They kept me for five months in a room with no air. They tortured me, and I protected your secrets. I protected you. And then I realized it was you who betrayed me. So, I had only one thing left. My cyanide capsule and my back left molar. So, I broke the tooth and bit into the capsule. Burned all my insides. But I didn't die. Oh my god! Life clung to me like a disease. What? And then I understood why I had survived. I needed to look in your eyes one last time. Well, I hope it was worth it. Mr. Silver, you're going to be transferred to Belmarsh Prison. Say my name, my real name. I know you remember it. Your name is on the memorial wall of the very building you attacked. I will have it struck off. Your past will be as non-existent as your future. She's not gonna give him the. Do you know what it's asking you? Hydrogen cyanide? Oh god. Oh god. Look at your work. Mala. Holy shit. Oh my god. Like, even what it does to his, like, face. Like, holy shit. All right, this dude feels like a fantastic villain. Can we please get more of him and keep him alive? Right? He feels like a scary-ass mofo. He's very good. He just has, like, a voice that commands, like, shut up and do what the hell you're told, or else I'm gonna kill you. His name is Tiago Rodriguez. He was a brilliant agent. But he started operating beyond his brief, hacking the Chinese. The handover was coming up and they were on to him, so I gave him up. I got six agents in return and a peaceful transition. Wow. Dude, she is ruthless. Well, I think she has to be. I know, she? but like, to be able to like, just make a decision like that without probably even second thought. Yeah. Like, damn. Looking at Silver's computer, he's established fail-safe protocols to wipe the memory if there's any attempt to access certain files. Only about six people in the world could program safeguards like that. Can you get past them? I invented them. 
Okay. Smarty pants. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I might have order. I'd like to begin the proceedings. Oh, hello, Polly. Oh. <laughs> uh, going somewhere? Uh-oh. We have apprehended the responsible party and are taking all necessary steps to ensure that the sensitive information is contained. I find it rather difficult to overlook the monumental security breaches and dead operatives for what you are almost single-handedly responsible. Oh, look, it's a map. Subterranean London. What? <laughs> What's going on? Uh -oh. Why are the doors open? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, no. Can someone tell me how the hell he got into our system? Oh shit, he hacked us. What? Shit. What? <sighs> Fucking Houdini. Damn, dude. Did he was able to break out of there and hack into this shit like that? This dude is impressive. Way better than the last movie's villain already. <laughs> See, I believe this villain's reason for wanting to hurt them. Yeah. It's so personal. Yes. And you feel it, you felt it immediately. There's history, there's relationship, there's betrayal. Really good. <laughs> really good. I don't think I'm ever gonna get that vision of us taking him teeth. Taking his teeth that was out. That was nasty. Ugh. It's always interesting having a villain whose motive is like, I get it. I understand why you're mad. Yeah. You know, that that creates a moral dilemma, which makes storytelling very interesting. Oh, I see. I know where I am, Q. Where's he? Give us a second. I'm looking for him. Because it's almost like the beginning of the movie with M telling what's her name to shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sacrifice Bond for something else. I get it. Do I get on the train? Yes! Go! Get on the train. Oh my god! Fucking train. Ten seconds late. Ah, uh, hello! Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank God that escalator didn't have any of those things in the, the middle. Yeah. yeah. That would have been for, well, James could have handled it because he's Yay. got no feeling down there anymore. Yeah. But. Not after all the first movie stuff. Yeah. It's as if you insist on pretending we still live in a golden age of espionage where human intelligence was the only resource available. Well, I find this rather old fashioned. Everything is old fashioned. Excuse me, Minister, I don't mean to interrupt, but just for the sake of variety, might we actually hear from the witness? <laughs> I mean, I think they're at a stage where there is transition happening, and they're trying to adjust and shift out of the old school, I guess you could say. Oh. <laughs> I won't miss next time, Mr. Silver. Not bad for a physical wreck. You caught me. Now, here's your prize. The latest thing from my local toy store. It's called Radio. Oh my God. He'd be such a good joker. <gasps> oh God. It's like the sandworms in Beetlejuice. Holy shit. And it's just going and going and going. Holy shit, dude. Wow. This is insane. Our enemies are no longer known to us. They do not exist on a map. They're not nations. They're individuals. Can you see a face, a uniform, a flag? No. Oh, shit. Before you declare us irrelevant, ask yourselves, how safe do you feel? As they're about to burst in shooting people. Oh my god. <gasps> oh 
Oh shit. Wow. I thought she was done there. I didn't think he was going to actually hesitate. Do you think it was all in his head? That's why he didn't sh get her directly and got Mallory instead? Create a cover. Smart. How full are those fire extinguishers? Too many people are dying because of me. If he wants you, he's going to have to come and get you. We've been one step behind Silver from the start. It's time to get out in front and change the game. I need help. We're about to disappear. I need you to lay a trail of breadcrumbs impossible to follow for anyone except Silver. Think you can do it? I'm guessing this isn't strictly official. Not even remotely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not hiding in there, if that's your brilliant plan. We're changing vehicles. Trouble with company cars is they have trackers. Oh, it's a beaut. With, with the music, with the music. It's not very comfortable, is it? Are you going to complain the whole way? <laughs> oh, go on then, <laughs> yeah. See if I care. <laughs> oh my God. Never touch, never touch the red button. Just threaten you the next time you say something stupid about my driving. I'm going to flip this. I'm going to push it. This is where you grew up. How old were you when they died? You know the answer to that. You know the whole story. Orphans always make the best recruits. Storm's coming. Interestingly enough, this is one of those movies where I actually want the villain to get away. Because I'm so intrigued by him. As like a villain. Oh my god! There, it's, Terrible person. It's very rare that you have movies where you want to see the villain in the next movie. Yeah. But it's like, I mean, in this short amount of time that we've gotten with him, just everything about his story is interesting. And he plays a villain very well. <laughs> so it's like, oh, it's guy fault. That's why. Yeah, and those were in the opening. I was wondering where Skyfall was gonna play into right. the story. His childhood home, huh? That oh, looks like that's amazing. The house that was in the the Willy Wonka movie. Oh. I mean, there's been a handful of movies where villain is cool enough and interesting enough to be like, yeah, let's keep this rolling. <laughs> Worthy of more than one movie. Uh-oh. James. James Bond. What? He's still alive. It's nice to see you, too. Where do we know him from? Lots of stuff, lots I feel. Of stuff. This is Kincaid, gamekeeper here since I was a boy. What? What are you doing here? Some men are coming to kill us. <laughs> We're gonna kill them first. Then we'd better get ready. <laughs> so who is it we're supposed That's to be fighting? That house. <laughs> that castle. Right. Your that fight. estate. Try and stop me, you jumped up little shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, remember what I taught you, don't let it pull to the left. I'll do my best. This is fantastic. We're good. Look at it. What did you say you did for a living? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Priest's home. Yeah, from Reformation times. The tunnel leads onto the moor. If you get in danger, this is the place to come. Wow. The night I told him his parents had died, he hid in here for two days. But it did come out. He wasn't a boy anymore. Wow, getting some uh, info on James Bond's past and childhood. I'm gonna booby trap the house. Right. Those are amazing. Oh. The hell! Home Alone, James Bond edition. Don't step on that plank. Dude, I am loving this movie. Mm -hmm. Same, same. Are you ready? I was ready before you were born, son. Yeah. Oh, oh God. God. How are they gonna, like, how? Dude brought a freaking army with him. <laughs> with probably way more sophisticated weapons than they've got currently. 
but they got booby traps. They were able to prepare. This was Home Alone, James Bond edition. I mean, the isolation of that house is amazing. Right. That is amazing. Oh, I'm gonna blow it up. Don't fuck up his house. Oh. Oh, he's in the car. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! So much for I them having it. more sophisticated weapons. Oh. oh, and the mirrors. I love it. Welcome to Scotland. Yeah, bitch! <laughs> Welcome to Scotland. Ah, this is awesome. Oh! <gasps> Fuck your foot. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, babe. I learned from <gasps> the best. Oh! <gasps> Shrapnel. Would this also be called what is it? Oh shit. Frack? Flax? What what is it? Flack? Yeah. Now run and go get their gun. Hey, you might not need it. You're probably fine. Oh god. Bitch. You're using all my stop it. Oh no no no. Mr. Kincaid. No. No. Okay. I know he's scared out of his mind right now. Please don't. Oh no. Thank you. James has it covered. You dropped something. <laughs> Protect this Very man funny, at all costs. Honestly. You need to keep M safe too. Her feeling this way about everything, it can't be where she dies. She can't die with this level of guilt. She needs to know everything's gonna be okay. Always gonna make an entrance. Oh my god, he's gonna bomb the shit out of it. Yeah, is this a uh, helicopter, a war copter? Does it have friggin' RPGs attached to it? Oh, don't destroy the house! Mr. Kincaid, I'm gonna need you to scoot your boot a little faster. <laughs> I would imagine that thing's built like a tank. Old as shit, but strong as hell. Yeah. You better go in too, sir. Also, I really like them together. And Are you and shipping Kincaid. them right now? I am. They're shipped. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no! Yeah, burn it down. It's such a nice house. Another end scene with the fire structure. Oh, did she, she did get <gasps> hit? No! Your car. Damn it. Oh, now he's pissed. Now he's super pissed. Get him. He's like, my childhood home. Eh, you blow up my car. You're fucking dead. I always hated this place. Oh, oh okay. okay. Damn. Oh, shit. The Aston Martin was, that was a line crosser. Now you have to pay. Oh, that poor house. Holy shit. That house is a crater now. That is a spectacular explosion. Oh no. That's a shot right there. Wow. <sighs> oh shit. That was an amazing flying knee. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh -oh. oh, what? Ah, oh, well, Mother's calling. I'll give her a goodbye kiss for you. Oh, what? I would have had no idea that that lake was that deep. Holy dude, that's huge. 
This is, I, underwater scenes, so scary, but like really pretty oh, almost. Oh, kneeing him in the head while he's choking. Oh. Oh, look at that. What is that? What is that? That's nothing. That's a made up move. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I'm like, what jujitsu move is that? Nothing. I mean, I'm sure it has a move name somewhere. If that is a thing in 15 years of jujitsu, I've never seen it. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh. That was totally Harry Potter right there. Um, how about you get out of the water? You've been under there for a minute. Leviosa. It had to be here. It had to be this way. Thank you. I can't find any. No. Oh, <gasps> shit. Don't you dare. You're hurt. Find <laughs> He's scary. He's absolutely terrifying. Free both of us with the same bullet. What? Only you can do it. Oh God, what happened? Was it the knife? Was it the knife? Did you take the knife? Yeah. Ooh, ooh knife in the back. <laughs> She's not happy about it. Not. <laughs> Happy. It doesn't hurt so much here. More like he or he here or here. the speed of a mongoose? <laughs> right here. <laughs> Reflexes ah! of a cat. <laughs> it's in the bone. It's in the bone. <laughs> Most were outstanding. Oh. Oh, shit. Not anymore. Well, no, he's the last rat standing. Wow. 007, what took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> Got into some deep water. I suppose it's too late to make a run for it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm game if you are. I should get one thing right. Oh, no. That sucks. I was expecting her to make it all the way through. Yeah. She was awesome. She was. Her will was read today. She left you this. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it was her way of telling you to take a desk job. Just the opposite. Thank you. You know, we've never formally been introduced. Oh, that's interesting. Well, my name's Eve, Eve Moneypenny. Oh. oh. I look forward to our time together, Miss Moneypenny. Me too. I've heard that name. That's, yeah. So, 007, lots to be done. <laughs> Let's Are go. Are you ready to get back to work? <laughs> With pleasure, M. Oh. With pleasure. I mean, with pleasure. Always with Bond. Okay, I'm going to need an intro with us in there with the Yeah, right on top of that rose. Okay. <laughs> that movie was fantastic. I love that so so much. That was such a great bounce back from the last one which yes. was still fun, really good, well done, but this had every element mm -hmm. of an action movie with the story that I love. Everything felt so personal. Yes. Everything from the start. Yes. Do you think it was better than the first one? <sighs> I mean, definitely better than the second one. I think we can all agree on that. I don't think I'm ready to put it ahead of Casino Royale yet. Yeah. I think it's definitely on the same level. Yes. But the story, same. the villain, the everything about the way things unfolded and played out, I thought it was fantastic. I thought I it was so well done. love Javier. Oh. He is absolutely terrifying. Just like the way he speaks, the like his look, oh. so scary. I mean, his voice is so unique. His look is very unique. And he played, like, 
I said it during the movie. I was really kind of hoping I didn't want him to win. Right. But I wanted him to make it into the next movie. Right. Just because I thought he did such a fantastic like he was up there with Mads Mickelson in terms of villain. Right. In this series. Right. I just thought his motives, everything that he did was so believable. Yeah. The fact that he was a former agent and she did, M did what she had to do to get the job done, regardless of what kind of impact it had on another agent. And we saw that at the very beginning of this movie with Bond. She was like, take the shot. I might hit him. Take the shot. She takes the shot, Miss Money Penny, and hits Bond and he dies. Mm -hmm. And it's like, holy shit. Just the, the story between M and Bond was I thought so interesting through these three movies. Yeah. Because you like you saw the roller coaster of their relationship where it was like, it's a trust thing. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Now I don't trust you. And then at the end, I did one thing right. Yeah, and and there's just there's so much history there. Yeah. yeah. And I just I, I really enjoyed their relationship. I thought she was an amazing character. She was just so strict about everything and didn't matter about personal feelings. It's like get the job done, do yes. it. But she also had a lot of snark in there, and there was it just worked so well because some shade. Bond has all of that as well, mm -hmm, and just I the agree. two of them were just constant friction, and I thought it worked so well. But I mean, what was Javier's name in the movie? Silva. Silva. I was like, wait. So uh... like, I, I'm gonna go back to him because I think great movies always need a great villain. I think. Oh well, yeah. Obviously, the protagonist is the star, but you always need that good antagonist to just drive the story a little bit. And the cybersecurity shit, like the cyber attacks, that shit is horrifying yeah. because dude was literally on this remote island in this completely destroyed and abandoned city in this super server room doing all of this shit. And it was just, I mean... Just, he was horrifying. I thought he did a fantastic job. His introduction was really good. And again, I love that it was like a shot from so, so yeah. far away. And then just him the slow continuing walk. to talk and, and get closer and closer and closer. I love that so much. I love that scene because as he was walking, like there was a very slight push as he was doing a slow walk. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that like that reveal was so awesome. Obviously, the fun part about doing these series and these franchises is comparing i i don't know if i could put a one and two i think it's like one a one b right That's, now yeah. for me i'm I right think, there with you i think casino royale is one a i think skyfall is one b and quantum of solace is two um yeah basically three yeah i, I mean just, it's still a good bond movie oh just not as good as one and, and three obviously that movie was suffering from a writer strike which so obvious because yeah. i mean this movie again it was two hours and 20 something minutes long two hours 23 minutes yes, 10 seconds there you go <laughs> and a story could just get flushed out so much better there's so much more time for things to breathe relationships and characters and just Everything could just be told without the pace being so fast. And it just, again, it just gives room for the story and the villains and the characters and the motives and all the stuff to kind of just lay out there. These movies always start so fast. Oh, I loved it. There's always a high speed chase, crazy gun shootout. And it just, it, it just gets you in the mood immediately for like, okay, this is going to be a high tempo Bond movie. Yeah, well, even and, though the beginning of this movie scared the crap out of me with that song. Oh. The way that it, boom, and I was oh, like, oh shit. I got you okay, right off the in bat. There. Yeah, I God. got you right off the bat. That was really funny. I like that. But again, I just, I, everything about this movie was personal. There was a lot of jabs at, at Bond's age. When he came back, he had to do the testing and people were like making fun of his test. And then we find out like Javier or Silva was like, oh, you failed all your, like he had, he like, he could find anything. This dude yeah. was like yeah. super smart, but like, he's like, oh, you failed. So there was like a lot of jabs about him as an agent. Does he still have it? Are you too old for this? Yeah. Old fashioned techniques. Yeah. I get it. And then even when M was being interrogated and like the whole idea of her department not being necessary, not being relevant anymore. And then showing up at Bond's childhood home, the idea that Skyfall, every movie has a title for a reason. I'm like, why is this called Scott? Like, it mentioned it earlier, mm -hmm. and uh, when he was doing like the name thing, like first thing that comes to mind, you could tell that it hit him. Like because the Skyfall like, hit done. him, right? Yeah. And so it was like, oh shit, what does that mean? 
And then we find out childhood home, amazing place. I mean, that house was oh, so freaking beautiful. epic. Yeah. And then the fact that the homekeeper is still there, living there all these years the later. Groundskeeper. Yeah. Groundskeeper. What was his name? Kincaid. Kincaid. He is awesome. That was just having him show. It's like, that's amazing. Dude's still living there after all these years. So cool. Getting that backstory and history with Bond and his childhood and like getting a little bit of that, I think is just so interesting. And that's what I think made this movie so good outside of the obvious of making it what makes it a good Bond flick. Right. It just had such a personal touch across the whole story. I agree. And anytime you got a villain whose motives are like, oh, damn, that makes sense. Oh, shit, I'd be pissed, too. Right. Like, oh, damn, I probably want to get revenge, too, and be a bad guy. It's like, oh, that's that's actually really interesting and cool. I thought that she would have gone out when they he put their two heads together because I figured she would just take the shot. You thought she was just going to sacrifice? Take the shot. You know, if you have a clean yeah. shot, just take it. Yeah. Just take the shot because, I mean, in order to get him, in order to kill him, right. just kill him and get it over with, but also I'm going to die, so... Wow. I, I'm, I'm actually quite shocked that she passed away in this movie. I thought she was going to make it through the whole series, and but no, she didn't. Uh, amazing character, amazing actor. I thought that was just so much fun, but we get Voldemort now, so that's awesome. I think, M, the yeah, other M. The new M. He's fantastic as well, so it's going to be nice to have his addition to the series. But if you guys didn't know, we watch, I mean, I don't know how you don't know. We mention it in, know, all the I time. Know, but we do all of our movie reactions live with the community, and we love to take some of their questions, their comments, involve them in the reactions. So let's see what the community is saying after Skyfall. The White Wolf. There is a six-year gap in between Quantum and Skyfall, and it's implied the events of the other Bond movies happened during that time. The spy, Aston Martin... Is same from Golden Eye. Oh, oh that's I did interesting. Not know that. that's, that's fantastic. That's a cool little nugget right there. Ellington Total War. Thank you. He was called Raul Silva. Real name was Tiago Rodriguez. M says it. Yes. No, I know she said his real name, but she only said it one time, so I didn't retain that information. So I just went with Silva. But yes, thank you. I thought he was fantastic. I thought he was a fantastic character. Uh, the White Wolf. Funny how Steven noticed all the times Bond shot his reflection or shadow in the title sequence. Silver really was a distorted reflection of Bond. Oh, good call. A fallen double O with a justifiable motive for revenge. See, that's really that's interesting. That's a great description. I feel like if you go back and watch all of the intros, I feel like there's some form of foreshadowing mm -hmm. in all of those intros. I agree. And like... Obviously, it's not as just generic as like, oh, he's playing cards in this one, or he's out in the desert in this one, or he's shooting himself in this one. I feel like there's very deep meaning. Like Those elaborate intros are so good. I the agree. Opening, this one, I think, was my favorite, though. It's those They're so well done and so yeah. interesting to see. And the fact that you bring that to light, it's like, oh, that makes a ton of sense. Former double O coming back for revenge and mm -hmm. it's like oh shit mm -hmm. that see that's i love that kind of shit with storytelling when you tie that kind of stuff together yep. that's so good it is so good i agree raymond thank you so much fact the house in the highlands of scotland is actually a real home allegedly owned originally by sir sean connery the first 007 wow that's fantastic i fucking love that that's I lo great i love little facts like that little nuggets of just yes. information that maybe you might keep maybe not great for a quiz yeah. but i mean that's definitely one of those spots where like, i want to go see that me too i like that bond house i would totally go there amazing yeah like it's just the visuals just seeing the gate and the, just everything broken and the like far visual and just seeing it in the distance and just everything about the property the house awesome it was gorgeous. really good visuals yes. so as always we always appreciate those who are live in the chat and the contributions are always amazing and Amazing, amazing job by the community always. So another great Bond movie. This one was so much fun. Yes. I enjoyed the shit out of it. Same. So good. Everything about it, top to bottom. With the exception of villain and M passing. Yeah. Those are my only like complaints, but it fits the story. It's really good. It needed to happen. And yeah. by the way, real quick, something that we got to start taking note of. Does every person that Bond sleeps with die? Is that like a trend? Does every single one of them die? Yes. So Miss Moneypenny cannot do that. No, that, that's probably a good idea to avoid that. Yeah. But wild. So mm -hmm. any other thoughts on this fantastic Bond flick? No. All right, y'all. You guys, you share all your thoughts. Leave your comments. We'll see you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.